In today's video, I'll be attempting to write and optimize a 2000 plus word blog post in less than five minutes. And to do so, I'll be using autoblogging.ai, which is a one click article writer. At the time of recording this video, this is my personal favorite tool to use in order to generate full length articles in just a matter of clicks. All you have to do is enter the keyword and click generate article and you'll get a full length article from this tool. And in order to optimize the blog post, I'll be using Nuon Writer. So Nuon Writer is a content optimization tool. All you have to do is enter the keyword in which you're trying to optimize and you'll get some recommendations which you need to follow in order to increase the likeness of ranking on the first page of Google. So I'll be using autoblogging.ai to generate the article and I'll be using Nuon Writer to then go ahead and optimize that article. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you wanted to try any of these tools for yourself, I'll go ahead and leave a link for both of the mentioned tools in the description below this video. Just before we continue this review, I wanna let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in-depth training on how I went from zero to over 10K per month from this YouTube channel. So if you wanna go ahead and check out that free training, I'll leave a link below. For this example, we'll be writing and optimizing an article for the best affordable watches for beginners. So again, if you want to go ahead and use autoblogging.ai, all you have to do is enter the keyword and click generate article. And within a couple of minutes, um, usually less than that actually, you get a full link blog post on the right hand side here. You also have some other templates in which you can use such as the pro mode. Um, this allows you to do more customization and create more technical or listicle style articles. You can also use the bulk generate mode in which you'd be able to enter multiple different topics and generate multiple different blog posts. So we can see here on the right hand side, the article has been completed. So why should you consider an affordable watch as a beginner? Da -da -da the best affordable watches for beginners, how to choose the right affordable watch for you, the benefits of wearing an affordable watch, the top affordable watches for beginners, and the ultimate guide to choosing an affordable watch. And the blog post continues how to make the most out of your affordable watch, the best affordable watches for every budget, and it ends right here. So let's go ahead and copy this blog post and head over to Nuon Writer. And we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the website in which we'll be optimizing this content for. Click new query. Now we're going to enter the keyword in which we use to generate that article on autoblogging.ai. The best affordable watches for beginners, we're going to leave the search engine to the United States. You can go ahead and change this to any um, specific state or country in which you're in. And you can also go ahead and change the language. But for this example, we'll stick to the states and stick to English. Once you're happy, go ahead and click start. And as you can see, the report is being generated here by Nuon Writer. So essentially it's pulling all of the most important information and the most important search signals that we need to follow if we wanna rank for this specific keyword. So it's going to go ahead and take a look at the top 20 results on Google to see what's the best practices um, that they included in their blog posts and it's gonna give us some recommendations which we need to make if we wanna compete with those top ranked blog posts. So once it's completed, you'll be able to go ahead and click on that query. And the first step here is choosing the competitors in which you would actually like to compete for within this search result. So you can go ahead and select or deselect any of these websites in which you wouldn't want to go ahead and get recommendations for. So for example, if there's a YouTube video or a forum such as Quora or Reddit, you can go ahead and deselect those because those aren't websites in which you'll be competing with. And for example, if there's very large websites here in which you know that there's no way in which you'd be able to compete with them, you can go ahead and deselect that such as GQ and maybe select a, another smaller website in which you have a better chance of outranking. Once you've went ahead and customized your competitors, just go ahead and click next. And once your content editor is loaded, you wanna go ahead and paste the content in which you generated from autoblogging.ai. We can see right away that the content score went from zero to 16. Uh, we can also see that we have about 700 more words in which we need to generate. So we got over 1400 words from autoblogging.ai, which is actually quite a lot. Um, if you're writing content, all you have to do now is write about another six to 700 words and you'll have a um, pretty optimized uh, blog post. But of course you wanna go ahead and also um, include these suggested keywords on the right hand side here to increase the likeness of ranking for this specific blog post. The great thing about New Run Writer is that if you need to add more content onto your blog post, you can do it right from this specific tool. So in order to generate um, content using their built-in AI, you just go ahead and highlight that specific section click AI writing, and you wanna go ahead and start a paragraph. And as you can see, the AI will actually start writing and generate an output based upon that headline. So the best affordable watches for every budget. There's a lot of different watches available in the market, but finding the best affordable option for your budget can be tricky. However, there's a great few affordable watch options out there for every budget. 
and we actually get some actual specific um, watches in which you can use um, if you are looking for an affordable watch. So pretty good text. We can go ahead and click use that. And as you can see, the content is um, now pasted into our specific blog post. And if you wanted to go ahead and expand on that specific paragraph, just go ahead and click the last sentence, click AI writing and click expand. And there you go. You get a lot more content here in which you can go ahead and use within your blog post. Of course, you want to go ahead and read through this, make sure it all makes sense. But as you can see, we're able to add content very easily here. And um, we're just about 400 words away from our target word count. So again, if you wanted to go ahead and expand on a specific um, paragraph here, just go ahead and click on that headline, click expand. And if you wanted to get new content ideas, just go ahead and click on the ideas tab and you'll be able to see some H1 sections that were added by your competitors. So you can go ahead and look at the H1s, the H2s to see if there's any specific um, heading or topic in which you would like to include within your blog post. So for instance, we see a lot of specific watches here in which we can include within our blog post, or we can go ahead to the questions to answer tab and we can see um, questions in which people are asking on Google and go ahead and include that within our blog post. So for instance, what type of watch is good for daily use? Just go ahead and copy that, paste it in here, highlight it, AI writing and start paragraph and go ahead and click and use, use that text. I've went ahead and added some questions which people are asking um, for this specific search term here. And as you can see, um, we've went ahead and hit our limit in terms of the word count. So now it's time to go ahead and actually optimize and make sure that we're including all of the terms that we need to include within this article. The terms that are in green, we've added in them within the optimal range. The terms that are red, we've added too many of those words and the words that are um, this yellowish, we're almost close to getting it into the optimal range. And the words that are gray are words in which we haven't even included within this article. So you want to go ahead and take a look at these words and you want to include them within your article. Now, New One Writer makes it very easy for you to do so because you can go ahead and click on that term and you'd be able to either copy that term, highlight that term, set a target usage count. So if you think um, that that target is a little bit off, you can go ahead and change that around or you can go ahead and actually see how those terms have been used within your competitor blog post or websites. So if you go ahead and click this section here, you'll be able to see the click to see some usage examples. You'll be able to see how those words are being used within that specific uh, blog post. So that's really useful if you're stuck on figuring out how to include that keyword within your blog post. So I've went ahead and added in some more content. And as you can see, we went a little bit over on some words, but for the most part, we've included um, those target keywords within this blog post. Obviously, it's going to be hard for you to get every single keyword within that blog post. But but once you're getting at least 60 to 70 percent or 80 percent of those keywords, um, that's a pretty good number to be optimized around. And you also want to make sure that you're using the H1, the H2 and H3 tags to include as many headlines as possible within your blog post. And also make sure to use those questions to answer as well. The last tab here is YouTube ideas. So if you wanted to go ahead and get some more ideas, you can go ahead and pull up this keyword on YouTube to be able to find some more relevant information, which you can include within your blog post. For this example, I'm pretty happy with a content score of 53. Of course, you'd like to get us up to a 80 and above, but if I went ahead and added in some more content, if I added in some images and optimized the H1s, the H2 and the actual uh, body paragraphs, I'm sure I'll be able to get to at least an 80 on this blog post. But I just wanted to show you the process in which it takes to generate a blog post using autoblogging.ai and also going ahead and then optimizing that on New One Writer. Not only was it really easy to do this, but we were able to generate and optimize a blog post in a very short period of time. If you were to do this manually, it'll take a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of research to go ahead and create and write and then optimize this blog post. But with the use of tools, it makes things a lot more easier and it makes creating and optimizing blog posts and articles very scalable. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you wanted to go ahead and grab any of these tools, I'll leave a link below this video. Until next time, stay well.